Okay, switching gears, First Alert Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagen is here. Uh, air quality, a big concern today with all those wildfires burning. Nothing like the apocalyptic orange that we saw a few years back, but definitely had that brown ick in the air. Yeah, it was really more of an issue yesterday for the second half of the weekend, that wildfire smoke from the point fire blowing across more of the Bay Area. It's, things are gradually going to improve over the next couple of days. So let's start talking about air quality with a look at the forecast simulation of how air quality is going to be impacted by that smoke plume coming off of the point fire and you can see it's really going to be confined to much of Sonoma County just blowing down through the valley with that northwesterly wind that's going to be the case again tomorrow but it does look like the worst air quality is really going to be confined to the immediate vicinity of the fire it gets a little bit downwind towards Santa Rosa you're going to be mainly in that yellow the moderate category and it does look like the latest forecast data indicates that the smoke will be even less of an issue by the time Wednesday rolls around so what does that moderate category mean it means that most people aren't going to be dramatically impacted by it. you may notice this of haze in the air, but people with any kind of lung disease or breathing difficulties should definitely be monitoring their systems or their caretakers should be doing the same. The four day outlook for the air quality across the entire Bay Area shows that we're not going to get any worse than that moderate category for all parts of the Bay Area as we head through the rest of this week. The smoke will be most concentrated over the North Bay, but again, should start to improve as the winds shift a little bit. That's not going to happen yet tomorrow. Still a noticeable breeze near normal temperatures, but then a stronger directly onshore breeze is going to develop as we head towards Wednesday. That means cooler temperatures, which means higher humidity levels, more favorable conditions for the fire crews trying to boost those containment levels around the point fire. But of course, they really don't want gusty winds from any direction. But as long as it's consistent, they can plan for it. Looking to the north from Sutro Tower at the Golden Gate, temperatures are nice out there this evening, just below 70 right now in San Francisco, into the mid 70s in Oakland, above normal highs to start off the work week with temperatures inland running in the low to mid 80s. So that warmth Bayside is not matched by any heat farther inland temperatures there running pretty close to normal. We are going to warm up tomorrow. Let's take a look at tomorrow's forecast low temperatures first, and then we'll look at the highs for tomorrow. Temperature beginning mostly in the 50s, which is close to normal for this time of year, all the way down to around 50 degrees in Morgan Hill, mid 50s for San Jose, which is almost exactly average. Some of the warmest spots far inland in the East Bay staying in the low 60s around Antioch. Some of the cooler spots dipping down into the upper 40s along the coast for Half Moon Bay and also likely in Pacifica. And some of the coolest spots as always in the North Bay Valleys dropping down to about 47 degrees for low temperature by tomorrow morning around Petaluma. But regardless, if you start in the 40s, 50s or 60s, everyone's temperatures should warm up nicely. And it's another day of near average highs across the entire Bay Area. Low 60s along the coast, a mix of 60s and 70s around the Bay with highs near 80 down the peninsula in Redwood City and mostly into the low to mid 80s inland until you go far inland. But even those hottest spots around Fairfield, Antioch and Brentwood are going to fall just short of 90 degrees. The winds still are going to be noticeable. These are the wind gusts every six hours beginning at 11 a.m. tomorrow, continuing through 5 p.m. on Wednesday, and it's the afternoon and early evening hours that are going to be blusteriest with the winds about 25 to 30 miles an hour for most of the gusts tomorrow. That straight onshore breeze is going to be a little stronger on Wednesday. A few gusts topping 30 miles an hour, not strong enough for a wind advisory, but it is something that you will notice. Any cool down being produced by that stronger onshore breeze on Wednesday is going to be pretty short lived. The six to 10 day outlook shows a good chance of a of normal temperatures as we head into the first several days of summer. This Thursday is the summer solstice and the 8 to 14 day outlook while it's not as strong a signal towards above normal temperatures. It is still there, so summertime will actually feel like summertime in all likelihood. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast and we do have some ups and downs in the inland temperature pattern with the coolest day on Wednesday highs mostly in the upper 70s. That's replaced by some hotter temperatures for just a couple days. Friday and Saturday highs likely to reach up into the low to mid 90s, but I don't think we're going to have any extreme heat building towards us anytime over the course of the next seven to 10 days or so. Bayside temperatures will be coolest Wednesday and Thursday and then returning to the 70s as we finish the work week and head into the weekend along the coast. Not as much variation as you would expect. A little more cloud cover, especially Wednesday and Thursday and highs only in the upper 50s, but you should be back up into the low 60s, which is exactly normal for the first weekend of summer. Again, that first day of summer officially arrives on Thursday.